A million people have walked past it, but have you ever taken a close look exploring the six-foot globe at the Museum of Science and Technology in this edition of Science Alive? And this is David Pantaloni. He's a curator here at the Museum of Science and Technology. David, welcome. And Thank what you. are we standing in front of? The big six-foot uh, Rand McNally globe from 1967. And where did this used to be at the museum? Well, for years it was the entrance to the museum and the original museum, 1967, and then yeah. for a long time it was also in the Canada and Space um, Exhibition. So when you first walked into the museum, this is the first thing you would see? Yeah, it was the big dramatic entrance point, it was the focus, it was, um, it was kind of situating the visitors in the 1967 in their world. Right, and what is unique, what's special about this globe? Well, what's great about it is that it's from Rand McNally, and there were several of these around uh, in the 1960s in libraries, institutions around right. North America. It was kind of the space age, and it was a way of everyone situating themselves in the space age. It was part of the imagination at that time. And is there a feature or two on this that you really, really like? Well, I love the prominent 3D physical features of the world. Like here, you have the, the Rocky Mountains, the right. painting itself, all the different colors. Uh, took weeks and weeks for a whole team at Rand McNally, and you can see the different colors here, the different shades for the different features. They, did, they even carved some of these features with dental tools. Now, David, on this globe, there are some cities, and there are some cities that are missing. What do you see when you look at it? Well, it's interesting where there are a lot of cities, like Europe here, the capitals, and, the, and then in, on Africa here, there's only three, Cairo, Tunis, Algiers. The rest, all totally blank. And because there was nothing in there in Africa, or? Well, it's just this shows the preoccupations or what they're not interested in at the time. Right. Or what the visitors weren't interested in, or what Rand McNally thought wasn't interesting. Here, yes, exactly. here, here we have um, Ottawa. So this was made for an Ottawa audience. There's a, it's, in, it's in light uh, red there, and then the Washington is in, in black. So you have two cities in North America here, well, and Mexico City. In Mexico City. And what is interesting too is I see there's provinces in Canada, but no states. Yeah, so States. it was probably because it was made for um, the Canadian audience. So you'll see all the little very faint borders there of the Canadian provinces. David Pantaloni, a curator here at the Museum of Science and Technology. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.